Hello friends, I'm Smita Katti and welcome to another Smiling Colors video. Today's video is all about watercolor and alcohol techniques. This is something I've not done before so I'm going to learn and play along with you. In this video today I start by just doodling some hearts in my sketchbook first and then I explore the technique further and I create these three watercolor backgrounds and the alcohol just adds such a dreamy effect to it. I also created this hand letter piece with the same technique and I'll share a quick glimpse of it at the end of this video. To begin with, let me talk a little bit about the supplies I have. I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol. This is the kind that I usually have in my medicine cabinet and it's easily available in medicine and grocery stores. I also have two paint brushes. I have a number 8 round brush that's a good quality brush and I also have an old scruffy paint brush that I'm going to use to dip in the alcohol. I don't want to use my nice pretty brushes for that. I'm going to be watercoloring today with the Tombow Galaxy Dual Brush Pens. I like the color combination that they have. I have a mixed media sketchbook. This is a sketchbook that I've used a lot on my YouTube channel already. So to begin with, I've pulled out all of my markers. The Tombow Dual Brush Pens are water based, which is why you can watercolor with them. If you put the pigment on paper and then add water to it, the pigment runs and it acts like a watercolor. This watercolor effect is so much fun to create and I do this all the time and I seem to want to do it even more. So I'm going to start here by drawing hearts. I chose three colors of markers and I'm drawing hearts and adding three of the colors in there. Then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in water and then I'm just going over the heart with my wet paintbrush. The water on my paintbrush, it just reacts with the Tombow Dual Brush Pen colors and it creates this soft version of the color. Since I've added three marker colors, you can see the three colors kind of blend and react with each other. Really, this is the simplest technique of all time. I'm just painting with water on top of my markers. And painting with water is something we learn as kids. So I'm using the Tombow Galaxy pack today because I know the colors will all go together really nicely. And you can see here, the minute I add water, they all mix nicely and create these beautiful hues of color. So I went ahead and added a few more hearts to my page and now it's time to add the alcohol. I poured my alcohol into a little container and I just picked up the alcohol and started adding little tiny dots onto my heart. The alcohol just reacts with the water and kind of pushes the watercolor away and creates a whiter space in the area where it falls. It's kind of hard to explain but it's pretty easy to see and I really loved the effect that it creates. Some of the hearts have already kind of dried, but I still went ahead and added the alcohol and you can see it kind of softens the color and it still you can see the circle dots of the alcohol in there. So depending on the amount of water you have, the alcohol moves differently, which makes total sense. So now let's just go ahead and repeat this. So I'm drawing more hearts, painting them with water and then adding drops of alcohol. I just repeat this process till I actually fill up the whole page. Here's how it looks after everything has been colored. I really think it needs a background to pull everything together, but I thought that might be just too distracting. So I quickly doodled some de details onto it and I called it done. But that was not the end of my alcohol and watercolor journey. I went ahead and cut some watercolor paper. This is thicker than the mixed media sketchbook I used previously. I felt the paper warped a bit in my sketchbook, so I used a nice 140 pound watercolor paper now and I've trimmed them to be 2 by 6 inches to make bookmarks. This is one of the best ways to explore color, to make something that's useful. My kids always need bookmarks and I just get to play color and kind of de-stress for the day. So onto the bookmark, let's try something more fun this time. I'm laying a triangle stencil down on top of the bookmark. It's going to be messy so I'm not taping anything, I'm not, I'm not looking for something precise. And then using a couple of colors from the Galaxy Pack, I'm just scribbling in the marker color and then holding the stencil in place, I'm just dipping my paintbrush in water and painting over it. I carefully lift the stencil here and you can see that some of the colors run and I'm okay with that because I wasn't looking for a precise pattern. I'm going to be dropping alcohol in this and making it even more messier. So now I picked up some alcohol. But this time I'm using a cotton swab, I'm dipping the cotton swab into the rubbing alcohol and I'm just tapping it onto the bookmark, making some circles of color and just moving the color around. I love that the minute I add the alcohol, the watercolor which is already so pretty, it just reacts and it kind of moves everything around and creates a soft color. 
Okay, now while that dries, let's start our next bookmark. You can see here the first, my first marker that I laid down, the red color. I hadn't closed the cap properly the previous time, and it's kind of dried out a bit. But for the watercolor technique, it will work perfectly fine, and you'll see that now. So for this bookmark, I decided to use the entire pack of colors. I mean, why stop at one color when you can use them all, right? Now I'm going to pick up some water on my paintbrush and just paint across each color. I'm painting along the colors. I'm not painting vertically and mixing all the colors. I want the colors to kind of form stripes here. Another thing that I've learned a lot while watercoloring with the dual brush pens is you don't want to keep painting over and over again. I just go over the pigment once or twice until everything is activated by the water or until you have the watercolor look and feel and then I try to stop myself. So basically all the art is created by the water itself. Anyhow, so once I have all the stripes painted, I already like this. I mean, I want to keep it just like this, but I want to also try and make some designs with the alcohol. So I'm placing my stencil on top and the paper is kind of curved now because of all the water I've added. And the stencil sits just in the center of the top, center of the bookmark. But I just went ahead and added a few drops of alcohol into the triangle area of the stencil. I, I just want to create some kind of light and dark shade going on on the bookmark. I'm not really sure at this point what I want, how I want to go forward with this bookmark. So I'm just going to let it dry for a few minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and create another bookmark. So I just went ahead again and colored each and every color onto the watercolor paper and painted over it with water. Same thing as before. But this time, while the water was all wet, I just picked up some alcohol onto my cotton swab and I started adding dots onto the bookmark. You can see so clearly those big dots of alcohol. What the alcohol does is it sits on the paper and kind of pushes the watercolor around it. While using the paintbrush, I was able to get little circles, but with the cotton swab, it was so much easier to get the circle shape. But I want to go ahead and make this a little more detailed. So I dip my paintbrush into the alcohol and I'm spraying with it. You know how you did this like kids, you dip an old toothbrush into either paint and then you spray it? I'm kind of doing that with the alcohol here. I also want to mention, the rubbing alcohol has a strong smell. So you want to make sure you do this in a nice, well-ventilated area. So I sprayed a lot of dots here, tiny, tiny dots. And you can see it creates a nice, disturbed pattern in the back. I'm going to let this dry because really I love how it looks and I'm so scared to move it at this point. I can see now that the second bookmark that I created is kind of dried a bit, so I went ahead and did the same thing on it. I picked up the alcohol with my cotton swab and started adding little dots. And since the watercolor had kind of dried a bit, the alcohol softens it very slightly, yet it creates a nice effect. It's actually pretty dramatic at the end, and this just goes to show that you can add the alcohol on top of nice watery watercolor or on top of something that's dried a little bit. The paper here was still damp, it wasn't completely dried. And since the paper is so thick, I think that's why the alcohol is able to still move the pigment around. This one turned out to be even cuter than the other one because the colors are so soft and there were so many different hues and shades created because of this. So after everything dried, here is a look at the bookmarks. I love the way this turned out and I really think this is a technique that you should just try, play and have fun with. Okay, um, before I leave, here is a quick glimpse at the lettering I created. I created all three of these the same day. I had drawn a pencil outline so I knew where I wanted my words to be. I scribbled some color onto the blending palette and I pick it up to do an indirect watercolor method. For the bookmarks, I did a direct coloring method. I colored with the marker directly on the paper. This time I colored onto my blending palette and I picked that up and I colored in all the words. Then I added some alcohol, let things bleed, and then I just fiddled with this a little bit more until I reached a color saturation that I liked. I love this quote a lot and I love the way this turned out. Alcohol inks are really popular right now and I'm trying really hard to not go and buy a few for myself. So instead I'm using what I have on hand and trying to create the effect that you're seeing everywhere. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should explore this technique more or if you just want to see another fun video like this. So make sure you stop by my blog, smilingcolors.com. I have a blog post about this entire process, all the supplies that I've used, and also you'll find so much more information there about all the techniques I share on my channel here. Thanks so much for spending your time with me today, friends. So till I see you again, happy crafting!